It's time for Cooking with LaRue. Fast recipes for limited budgets with Chef Johnny LaRue. Hi, I'm Johnny LaRue, as you already know. You know, today's show is going to be a little different. I've been reading the newspaper recently, and I found out that there's some poor people out there in the world. People on welfare and disability. I don't know what it is. It's. I guess you just can't afford to cook what I'm cooking on my show, and I want to help you out as much as I can because I'm a friend of yours. You know that. All right. Well, okay, let's get right to today's recipe. It's a little thing I call tabby surprise casserole. Now, I use a little thing called paw and whiskers. Okay, you're going to say this is a Johnny LaRue product. He's plugging his own products. I'm not. It's just real good stuff. Okay, now, the ingredients you need, you need some ketchup, some water, uh, some breadcrumbs. You can steal them from the pigeons in the park where you're going to get the grass, probably, because that's probably where you're living these days. All right, you need some salt and pepper. You can shoplift all this stuff if you want. Just don't tell them where you got that idea from. Okay, let's get down to it now. You get a couple cans of cat food, and you throw it in a preheated skillet in here, all right? Just sort of... Uh, all right, so... Geez. Just mix it in there and throw a cover on it quick. Let it lock up all those flavorful juices in there. You can keep these uh, little dishes, too. You can probably use them for bowls later on. All right, now the rest of this stuff here, you get some ketchup. You just uh, throw it on there like that. Then you get the breadcrumbs and you throw them in there. You get the water, pour that in there. A little salt, a little pepper. Then you get some vinegar. Okay, you got all that? Okay, you can even throw some booze in there if you can steal it from somebody. All right, now just get this home. Uh, just throw this stuff on there like that. Oh, isn't that looking good so far? Oh. God, don't you people go get a job for crying out loud, you know? Maybe this stuff will build up your strength. You can go pick up your welfare checks in time. All right, now, uh, um, just a minute here. Now, just form all this stuff up in there like that. Um, I'll tell you what, I got one already made in the oven. You just throw this in the oven at 500 degrees. Now, earlier I made one. And this is what it looks like, the finished product, huh? Pretty good, huh? Not too bad. All right. You get a little grass, and you can throw that on there. Now I'm going to get somebody from the audience. Come on out here, you. Come on, old lady. No. Come, on. Come on, you old lady. Come on. No, All right, doesn't that look good to you? Huh? Oh, doesn't that look good? It's smooth. Come on, eat it, you poor slob. Come on, get in there and eat it. Come on, get in there. Come on, I made it just for you. You poor lady. Hey, come on, what are you talking about? You poor slobs. Why don't you go out and get a job, for crying out loud? I've been working since I was nine years old. Yeah, sure. Look where I am today. I'm right on top. It's one of the best public shows in the world. Yeah, I've got to be going there, sure. <laughs>